Every Thursday I go to couples therapy with my depression. He whispers in my ear to stay in bed for another day, presses his palm to my chest, afraid I'm going to escape the cover. After I scrape myself out of the shower, I still smell like him. Like midnight panic attacks, like first name basis with CVS pharmacists, like I'm not hungry, I already had a Rice Krispies treat today. Our sessions with our therapist are only 50 minutes. We spend that time restating the same issues to her. We've been on again and off again since high school, but this time it's been a solid year. That's gotta mean it's getting serious. She asks about my appetite. Well, no, I haven't been eating, but he likes me skinny. It makes it easier for him to be big spoon. It's like I disappear in him, like his body swallows mine. She asks if I've done anything with my friends lately. Not in a while, I'm usually staying with him. My friends are at the third wheel if we're out together. That's what happens when you've been with someone so long. She asks if anything has changed since I started with the solo. He digs his nails into the chair, grits his teeth. She asks me again. He gets jealous, but Zoloft treats me well. He takes me to breakfast in the morning, feeds me French toast. He got mad though, so I was eating on him, threatened to pull out the scissors, so I threatened to see Zoloft even more. All of them. All at once. I almost did. She asks if that was the night my friend took me to the health center. Well, yeah, but it was just one night, and the nurse said no visitors, so she took Zoloft away from me, so. We got to spend some quality time as a couple again. My therapist thinks I'm only with him because my father called my mother a whore, or because I still sometimes wish I were straight, or because I have enough serious love life. She doesn't understand this is the most serious relationship I've ever had. She says, time's up. Come back next week. He mutters, fine, under my breath, slams the door on our way out. Our therapist said that there have been improvements over the past few weeks, that he and I will probably always be together, but that I'll be more independent soon. Lately, I've started thinking more about that. Mornings when I wake up hungry, my body remembers how to leave the mattress on its own, feel his arm shrink from my waist for a few hours, so I can finish a poem, watch Parks and Rec, eat a sandwich, make the bed, without crawling back in, even when he says that without him, I would be a gutted house, scraped clean, creaking, and caving in. Sometimes I still think he's right, but last week I stepped onto the scale, I gained three pounds. It's, it's only three pounds, but it's all me. It's all me.